Lynn with Little Fit Nursery. I um, wanted to continue a topic I kind of started in my last video about um, just, you know, doll shows and what that might start to look like in the future. Um, you know, I know there's like so many mixed thoughts out there about, you know, when will be will we be able to kind of quote unquote go back to normal, but it seems like wearing masks is going to be in our future for quite a while. Um, I know that, you know, here in Southern California, in our county, like our, um, a mask is now required anytime you leave your house. Um, and this includes going on walks, which is uh, such a bummer for me because I feel like walks are kind of like my one time when I can have a little bit of fresh air. So what I've, um, what I've been doing is, you know, on my walk, um, you know, kind of having it around my neck or, you know, kind of maybe you know, not over my nose during most of the walk, but then if I see somebody approaching from like half a block away, I'll like make sure my nose is covered, you know, when I walk by them and then making sure to keep social distancing as well. So that's kind of what I've been doing. Anyway, I'm here with baby Savvy. She is wearing this, um, really pretty dress by Folk, but I wanted to change her to something maybe a little bit more playful and fun. This is from, um, Disney store. It's, um, it's a romper with, um, Thumper's girlfriend, Miss Bunny, on it. And isn't it so cute? <laughs> I just think it's adorable. I think it's going to look really cute on her. So I wanted to go ahead and change that. Um, and I know a lot of you guys have sort of, there, there have been, I've been getting a lot of messages about, you know, people thinking that I um, make silicone babies just because I have shown silicone babies on my channel. And, um, and just to, you know, kind of clear up any confusion there, I, um, I do paint, I, I'm a collector, I, I, I'm a collector first, and I also, um, you know, I think I'm an artist second, I mean, I, and I don't even know that I, you know, call myself, um, I'm not a professional great artist or anything, more of a, more of a reborn hobbyist, um, really, um, but yeah, but I do not, I do not know how to make silicone babies. I mean, I did take a silicone painting class, but definitely would not feel comfortable doing another one. Um, you know, unless I was like in the class. Cause I think Susan, um, I took Susan Gibbs class at the Rose doll show in, I think it was 2019. It was the last show that we had and it was an awesome class, but I, um, I still, I, 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 I feel scared to <laughs> try to paint on my own mainly because the kits are, you know, they're, they're expensive. So, oh my gosh, this, this little girl's so big, you know, compared to, um, my last video where I showed my two little preemies, I feel like this romper like barely fits her. She's a size, um, zero to three months, but look how it's, I mean, it fits her, but it's like, I kind of, there's not like that much room to spare. <laughs> so yeah, she's, she kind of, yeah, it's like right up against, <laughs> um, Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just button her up here on the back. Um, yeah, so, <laughs> but yeah, I was just trying to think about, like, what would um, a future doll show look like, assuming we, you know, we're in a situation where we don't have a vaccine. And um, and I was just trying, like, I'm trying to kind of um, envision this based on, and again, this is, this is completely my own conjecture. Um, Bountiful Baby and the Rose Doll Show, for example, they have not you know, published anything about, you know, what precautions they would take for a future doll show or anything like that. But, um, but yeah, I, I could imagine, you know, just kind of seeing, um, you know, Shanghai Disneyland reopened and kind of some of the measures that they're taking, including like when there's a line, making sure there's like social distancing. I just don't know how you can have social distancing at a doll show. That just seems very difficult. But maybe one thing that could be done is, and gosh, this is so hard because you have booths and people coming in and out of booths. It just feels like it'd be impossible to keep your space. I could definitely see face masks being a requirement. Um, uh, yeah, I could also see maybe um, you do one-way traffic. Gosh, that would be hard though, you know, because I, I just feel like it, it would be difficult, but that could, that could be an option. You could kind of do one-way traffic. You could also space the vendors further apart, um, but then that would then make, make it so that you could hold fewer vendors. So it would just make it more difficult for the show to, to be, to be uh, break even. So, um, and I know that they barely break even each year, you know, so that would be really tough. Anyway, here's Savvy. Let me just show you guys really quickly. Her um, full name is Savannah and she is the Malian. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. Oh my gosh, she's, she's so cute. <laughs> um, yeah, 
this this baby looks like she could be my daughter. <laughs> She's the Mayland Sculpt by Ping Lao. Um, oh my gosh, and this is just barely, this is a little, I think it's because her diaper is so, so full too. Um, Oh, you know what? I think she really, I, I think she's more of a three to six month size now that I'm remembering. Um, I think that's why this is, I mean, it fits, but it's sort of like barely fitting. Um, it's a zero to three anyway. Um, yeah. So I, I think that, you know, you'd have to implement some kind of social distancing, you know, there would need to be a way to line up. So it wouldn't be as, I, I just don't know how, how it could be done. Um, and, kind of be enjoyable for everyone. And not to mention, like for me, it's really hard to wear a mask for long periods of time. I know they're now required on most flights and I would wear one on an airplane, but, um, but gosh, it's gotta be so uncomfortable after a while. So, um, so I just don't know that there's a perfect answer. So I'm really, really curious to see, I feel like we need to get some herd immunity going. Um, <clears throat> and we need to see who actually has the antibodies to this thing. So, Anyway, somebody got like really mad at me the other day because one of my videos I was talking a lot about, you know, this global pandemic we're in and they're like, I don't want to hear about the pandemic. I hear that all the time on the news and I totally get that you guys, but this is like such a permeating part of our society right now. It's kind of impossible not to think about and talk about it. So I apologize if anyone's annoyed, you know, if you want to watch videos of mine that where there's no pandemic, just go to the older videos and watch those. I have plenty of those um, videos that are up and, you know, um, and now that I have some comfort level that YouTube isn't going to be permanently deleting videos, um, you know, you, those are, you can continue, you can go back and, and watch those. I, um, I, I think one of the ways that I've been coping too with um, not being able to go out, not being able to go on, you know, go on um, the trips and things like that we normally would is, um, uh, just watching videos of past trips. And, you know, we have, I know a lot of us are so bummed and sad about the doll show not happening this year, but, um, I think that, you know, it's, a, you know, we have videos, um, from just past years and we can kind of relive the show there. And I know some of the artists have been selling their dolls online and things like that. So you might be able to find a great, a great baby. Um, I don't know how, you know, the reborn community is in terms of, you know, demand and things like that and buying and selling. I haven't been as plugged into there, but I mean, I would imagine general, um, consumer discretionary spending is down, um, for sure. Just give, I mean, how can it not be given the just far reaching impacts of, um, unemployment and what's happening in the economy. But I do think for, you know, this is also a hobby that it's, it's a, it's a bit of a luxury, right? Um, so people who were, you know, maybe, um, fairly well off and, you know, weren't as, um, affected by this pandemic or, you know, there are quite a few ladies in this hobby who are retired and on fixed income, you know, that, um, you know, this wouldn't affect them. Right. So, so yeah, so I am kind of curious about that, you know? Um, so anyway, well, here's Savvy in her rom in her cute little romper. Um, I will take the camera off the case so you guys can see her a little bit better. I'll just kind of get another view. She's so adorable. <laughs> and her hair is just, I mean, she's so well done. Um, yeah, look how long she is. Like, look at those little feet. And <laughs> All right, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching, and we will um, see you guys on the next video. Bye.